Good morning, everyone. Great to see everybody today. Uh, we have wide receiver Parker Washington with us. Um, just when I call on you, um, I'll ask you to or I'll ask you to unmute your mind and you could ask your question. Um, let's get started with Audrey Snyder with the Athletic and Rich Scarcella. You're on deck. Hey, Parker. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for your time. Um, Parker, I wanted to go back to last year, if I could. Um, at what point last season did you feel like you were finally comfortable and that you were really kind of settled into the end of your role? Last year, I really felt – I started to feel comfortable. Definitely when I started to get more time with Coach Stubbs, he definitely helped me a lot, and especially learning defenses and, like, getting comfortable with the how fast college football really was. And I felt like once I got more time with him, I was comfortable and I was ready to go. Go to Rich Scarcella with the Reading Eagle and Tyler Donahue. You're on deck. Good morning, Parker. Thanks for doing this. Hey, uh, what do you think your strengths are in your game? Where do you think the next step is for you? And secondly, uh, how do you think wide receivers, uh, what kind of opportunities do you think wide receivers get in coach here such as offense? Thank you. So, uh, First off, uh, just some strengths of my game. I'll say I work a lot uh, with, like, trying to make the tough catches. So a lot of my preparation before practice and before games is practicing on the jugs and making tough catches. I feel like I'm pretty good at that. I think the next step, though, is uh, really just getting uh, comfortable and uh, with uh, seeing the defenses, identifying what they're doing a lot more. And just, you know, being a young uh, player, that has to, that comes over time. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good with that right now. And then uh, with Coach Yurkovich York, uh, offense, I feel like it's just exciting because he's bring, he brings the energy all the time and it's a lot of opportunity. And I feel like we just have to be consistent in the receiver room and it'll be great, uh, great numbers this next season. Go to Tyler Donahue with Lions 247 and Nubias Wilborn. You're on deck. Good morning, Parker. Hope you've been great. Uh, I wanted to ask about Jahan Dotson because, uh, you know, we've been hearing a lot about him and what he's been doing on the practice field this spring, and you've got a close look at that. When did you find out – how did you find out that he was going to return for another season? And what, what have you kind of witnessed from his work and, uh, and his production on the practice field? Just, uh, just with the type of person Jahan is, you will learn that he, he would never want to leave his teammates. And he's a, just a great dude on and off the field. And just seeing him in practice, he's, uh, he, he helps a lot of his teammates, including me, especially from last year. He's a great dude. And you can just see his work ethic. And I'm excited for him this next season. Let's go to Nubias Wilborn with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette and Donnie Collins. You're on deck. Hey, Parker, um, thanks for doing this, man. And um, good to actually finally get to see you on one of these things. Um, <laughs> so I spoke to your sister over the offseason. What was that Illinois game like? And uh, she told me to ask you, what's your favorite instrument that you play? So all through middle school, I actually played the cello. Uh, I, I was uh, first and second chair uh, all through middle school. It was actually really exciting to do. I really learned a lot through those years in middle school. Um, but besides that, that Illinois game, that was just, it was amazing because I haven't really got the chance to see my family that much that year. And it was just great to see her. And one thing we laugh about is like, we're going to meet at the 50 yard line this year. <laughs> Let's go to Donnie Collins with Scranton and T Frank, you're on deck. Hey, Parker. Penn State doesn't get a lot of players from where you're from, and it's a, it's a great college football area. What, what did you, what kind of opportunities did you see State, and, and, and how has it met your expectations so far? Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it here at Penn State. It's been nothing but great to me, even through the recruiting process. And the opportunity I saw is just having the opportunity to be able to compete for a national championship. And I'm excited for this team, and I can't wait to see what we can do next year. Next year. Go to Thomas Frank Power with Blue White Illustrated and Thangle, you're on deck. Hey, Parker. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you as well. 
I wanted to ask you uh, about what you've been working on and where you think you've progressed since the season ended, and what are you and Coach Stubblefield working on focusing in the spring uh, as far as your game? See, the biggest thing right now, uh, I said it a little bit earlier, just really just getting comfortable with coverages and really understanding the game. The coach always talks about the IQ, like he's like 100 level. We need you at 200 level IQ, so – we definitely working that, and I'm working with him every day upon it, and it's, it's definitely paying off during the spring fall. Let's go to Seth Engel and Joe Giuliano. You're on deck. Hey, Parker. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, with the entrance of the early arrival freshmen, you're no longer a part of the youngest group of guys on the team. I'm wondering how have you transitioned into a leadership role over the past couple months? Definitely. Um, we uh, we'll definitely will just start with like the receiver room. Um, Coach Stubbs uh, wants me to take a big leadership role, and and my biggest my biggest thing with me, I love to lead with. I'm more of a guy that leads with the example. I'm not too much of the talkative guy, but they kind of want to push me to that stage to talk a little bit more and just be a great leader and just come in being consistent every day at practice. Let's go to Joe Giuliano with the Philadelphia Inquirer and Audrey Snyder, you're on deck. Good morning, Barbara. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Um, obviously, you came in here as a freshman and uh, you really established yourself right away. How would you describe your um, uh, confidence, uh, the confidence you brought to the team and, and, and showed the other guys? And uh, a musical question, uh, have you played anything else besides the cello? Uh, for your first question, um, I felt like my confidence came from just some of the preparation I had during the off season, and I, I felt very uh, excited and I was just eager to get on the field at Penn State because it's like it's a dream. So I was really excited for that. So I can't. I felt like that the preparation brought my uh, my confidence, and, and I actually haven't played any other instruments. I, I just I only learned the cello in middle school. And it was definitely fun to play. You still play it? Not, I haven't been able to stay on top of it, but I feel like if I got on the cello now, I could still play a little tune. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Audrey Snyder and then Dave Eckert. You're on deck. Parker, uh, when I was talking to your high school coach last year, he said that, you know, your recruitment was interesting because so many teams um, weren't sure if you were going to be a running back or receiver because of your build. How do you feel that your frame and your weight helps you be able to kind of withhold everything or withstand everything that you go through in a season? I, uh, first thing I would say is I feel like my weight helps me be able to block because playing slot, you have, to, you have to deal with the Big Ten linebackers e each week. So I feel like that definitely plays a big role and it helps me a lot, definitely. Dave Ecker with Blue Light Illustrated and Tyler Donahue, you're on deck. Hey, Parker, how you doing? Um, so, you know, obviously you surprised a lot of people with what you did last season, but I, did you surprise yourself at all? I'm just wondering how you felt about it. Um, my biggest, um, I, really, I really was concerned with just being the best me for the team and just doing every, everything I can to help my team uh, be successful. And, I wouldn't say I surprised myself because I, I, I felt like I made uh, plays that I really worked on and prepared for all, all off season and during practices. So I didn't really necessarily surprise myself. I was just glad to be able to help my team as much as I could last year. Let's go to Tyler Donahue and New Bias. You're on deck. Parker, uh, Sean Clifford told us a couple of weeks ago that he remembers you two didn't really throw together consistently on practice uh, sessions until a couple of weeks before the opener. What's it been like to actually get all this time so far in advance of the next season on the field together? Uh, it was, was actually uh, crazy is that during this spring ball, it's, it's actually exciting to see that we're still actually learning from each other and learning new things each and every day. And I feel like Getting this time in spring ball is really helping us because we didn't necessarily get that chemistry last year. And you can definitely see it in the whole receiver room, how everybody's just connecting now. So it's looking really good, and I'm excited for it. Tobias Wilborn and Donnie Collins, you're on deck. 
Hey, what was the toughest part about not having the traditional freshman experience coming into Penn State for you? See, you see, you see a bunch of other unrivals that Penn State's put out there, and it, you're just excited to get to experience that. And uh, it was definitely, it was definitely not really heartbreaking, but it kind of hurt not to be able to do that. But it, you, I found myself uh, learning more about myself through this process, and it really helped me in the long run. And if we ever get time to go back to a normal life, it's just going to be even more exciting. I'll be even more grateful for it. Donnie Collins and T. Frank, you're on deck. Parker, the coaches last year talked about how how polished you were coming in as a freshman, as a, as, as a receiver. Who and who or what do you attribute that to most in your past? Uh, just coming uh, coming up, my high school. I have uh, one of my best friends. He's in the NFL now, Stephen Sims Jr. and he, he's kind of been my uh, role model growing uh, growing up and. He taught me a, a lot of stuff as he went through college at uh, Kansas, and that really helped polish me. And um, I had a lot of great coaches uh, growing up, too. So it really helped me come in and be able to uh, be prepared for this college football. Let's go to T. Frank and Rich Garcella. You're on deck. Hey, Parker, you talked about the, the mental side of the game and, and getting better there. Um, I know it's a different offense from last year, but do you want to do more things uh, in terms of like position flexibility? I know there's a lot of motion in Mike Yurcich's offense. So are you looking to do more things, not just get better at the things you did last year? Um, as a team, you know, we definitely want to do more things. Um, I'm excited for this offense. Mike, uh, Coach Mike, I mean, Coach Yurcich does a lot of great things at practice. He brings that juice, the energy, and I'll def it'll definitely be great to see what we do this year. Let's go to uh, Rich Garcella and Audrey, you're on deck. Parker, what did you, or why did you want to mentor foster kids and what did you gain from that experience? And would you like to continue to do it in the future? Okay, could you repeat that one more time? Sure, sure. You, why did you want to mentor foster kids? What did you gain from that experience and would you like to continue that in the future? Uh, I love, I just love to help people. And I feel like it's, it's always bigger than me. I love to impact others and always uh, bring up people that may be um, like, uh, like my great friend. I love to help them all the time. And so definitely with that, I'll continue to do that. Uh, like until I'm like, <laughs> just all the way through my life. I love to just help people. Per se. Audrey and then John Salber, you're on deck. Parker, um, you knew bias asked you about it a little bit earlier, but what's your relationship like with your sister and particularly with football? Um, how are you guys able to kind of go through that together? And I'm imagining, were you guys ever watching film together or anything like that? We, we actually don't watch film together, but our, our relationship is real close. We, we talk on a daily and she always sends me stuff that keeps me going. And I'm definitely grateful to have her a part of my life. John Sauber with the Center Daily Times and Tyler, you're on deck. Parker, what's the, the hardest part about going into a new offense and only your second year on campus, being in two offenses in two years? Um, really just the terminology changes a lot. That's really it. And you just have to just pick up on stuff like that. And just it just takes more time uh, studying and going over plays with your teammates. And once you once you get a terminology down, I feel like everything is all good, and you'll be on set for the practices and game. Tyler Donahue, and then Nubias, you're on deck. Parker uh, Keandre came in last year ahead of you. Ended up seeing a lot of time starting games as well. What, what's your expectation for for Keandre's role on game days here in 2021? Keandre is a, is a great guy, and um, he works hard, and you can see it with all the uh, energy he brings at practice and he competes and that's what, that's what we want. We want somebody that can compete, make plays. And he's doing that right now at spring ball. I'm just excited to see him and I feel like he's gonna do great things. Tobias Wilborn and Seth Engel, you're on deck. 
obviously last season your family didn't get to watch games, particularly your pops. Um, what would it be like? Are you going to try to have them to the spring game? If not, then what would it be like when you finally get to have them come to a game, watch you and playing the blue and white? It's definitely going to be exciting to have them come and watch me play. And and they always been there all my life. So just to have them back, it would just feel like I'm back at home and I'll be, I feel like I'll feel even more comfortable with that this year. We got time for a few more questions. Seth Engel followed by Audrey. Yeah. So on the topic of leadership, once again, obviously things didn't necessarily go as planned last season. I'm wondering how have you taken a personal step um, to ensure that last season's rough start? This, this just comes down to our preparation. I try to get I try to get a bunch of my uh, my receivers and teammates to like come together, just get extra work in before practice. We uh, catch jugs before practice, make sure we take care of our body, and and we're starting to on this offense pretty good. So I feel like that's helped me. So we just come prepared and just point will season Time for two more questions. Audrey Snyder followed by T. Frank. Um, what do you remember from, from we all photo last year with Coach Stelfield with the belt buckle? You were one of the first guys he met. With. What do you remember about that meeting with Coach Stubblefield, and what have you liked about getting to know him and work with him since then? Coach stuff is a great guy, and uh, meeting him that day, it was it was just right when uh, Coach Parker left, so it was a little sure it's gonna happen next. But once you got to meet with him, it was just up from there, and I was excited to work with him. And I feel like the guys in the receiver room feel the same way about him. Last question, T. Frank. Hey, Parker, you talk about playing physical, you know, at the catch point and things like that. How much do you enjoy getting off the line of scrimmage in press situations? Because it seems like something that, you know, looking at your film that you really enjoy doing. So that's definitely a big, uh, big part of the receivers that we love to work. And you have to be able to get off the press. So being comfortable with that and feeling uh, comfortable doing that is is really good with being a receiver. And I'm ex- and I'm glad that um most of our receivers are doing that and we're looking good in spring ball right now.